KTMs are made in Austria, right? In their factory based in Matikhofen, Austria. Well, for some bike models that has changed. KTM has six offshore assembly facilities in Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, China, Malaysia and the Philippines. And since 2014, KTM has had some of their models assembled here in Hangzhou, China. And in 2020, KTM's range of middleweight parallel twin LC8 models, including the new 790 Duke, will be built in China as well. And some models are also manufactured here in Chakan, India. Not surprising when KTM is actually 48% owned by an Indian company. But before anyone gets up in arms about their KTM dirt bike being made in China or India, those are still made in Austria, so far. To date, it's just many of the road models being made in other countries. Although it's interesting to see that the new Adventure 390 is made in India. Is this the start of their off-road manufacturing slowly changing over to cheaper countries? Only time will tell. Has this affected quality control? Well, there were certainly a lot of known issues with the Indian-made 390. Blown head gaskets, braking problems, electrical issues, aberrant valve clearances, stalling with the clutch in, faulty radiator fans, dry swing arm bushings, fuel leaks, and so on. Two issues were serious enough to result in recalls. Now, many claim this is because of lower quality control with manufacturing in India. But I'm not sure, as there have been quite a few recalls on the Austrian-made KTMs as well, which we have covered in another video. Will there be similar teething issues with the Chinese-made KTMs? And could we see a price drop due to the cheaper manufacturing? Only time will tell. Some will argue that bikes built in Asia can be great if the quality control is up to scratch. Others will say that cheaper manufacturing will always have a corresponding cost in terms of lower quality. KTM is not alone, of course, in outsourcing to cheaper countries. Honda has factories in Brazil, Thailand and Italy. Suzuki has factories in Vietnam and China. Kawasaki are all over the shop. Japan, Michigan, Philippines, India, Indonesia, Bangladesh and Thailand. Grasshopper, do you have nemesis? A rider you cannot beat? First seek out your nemesis. Eye gouge. Sackwack. Bitch slap. Remember, always bow to defeated enemy to show respect. Before you deliver, final kick to nuts. <laughs> and for anyone who gives a shit about human rights and the socio-political angle, is buying a Chinese-built bike indirectly supporting an oppressive regime with a very dodgy human rights record? Or is it indirectly helping to lift a lot of Chinese people out of poverty and reinforcing China's ties with the West? which hopefully reduce the chances of war and future human rights atrocities. It's all food for thought. What do you guys think? Keen to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. <laughs>